Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make a slideshow of pictures with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript in the Adobe software Dreamweaver. So first, we are going to open up Dreamweaver, and I have Creative Cloud, so mine might look a little different than yours, but no worries, it'll all look the same in the end. And the first thing I'm going to do is create a new document of HTML. So I'm going to click Create. And then the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save this document. And I'm going to save mine as just slideshow, because that's what we're making. And I'm going to make sure it's that's saved on my desktop so I can find it easily. I'm going to click Save. And then the second thing is since we're just working with a slideshow, I'm not going to add any crazy HTML or CSS or JavaScript. I'm just going to add the essentials. So I'm going to go in and put in my image tag and I'm going to set it with an ID so I can target it easily with my CSS and JavaScript and I'm going to make that ID my photo. Oops. And then I'm going to give it a source so that I can add in my first photo which will be my beach photo. And then I'm going to give it an alt tag for the name, which can just be um, Sunset Beach. And then I'm going to close that. So now, second thing we're going to do is we're going to add a CSS document. So I'm going to go in and click CSS and then click Create. And now here's my new CSS document and I'm going to go to File and save just like we did with the HTML and I'm going to save it as slideshow CSS and I'm going to save it also on my desktop. So now after that you should go back into your HTML and you should make sure that you um, externally link that CSS page. So I'm going to go in right under here and add it in. So there's text.css, you can click on that one, and then give it a style sheet, and then link it. So now I can go back to my desktop, and I can find my slideshow.css, and click open. And there you go. So now, they should be linked together. Um, we can check in a second, but first we want to make sure that we know that it's working. So in my CSS, I'm just going to add the image tag, since that's all we have in the HTML. And I'm just going to target the height and width. So then that way it's not too huge and you can see the entire picture. So I'm going to do the width. And we're just going to make it around 800 pixels. Sounds about good to me. And then the height, which will be 600 pixels, so it's not too big. And then we're just going to close it. So I'm going to go back to my HTML. And now one way I can check to make sure that it's linking is I can refresh it. Or I usually what I do is I click or I hold down on my keyboard, Option, FN, and F12 and then it'll say save and I click yes or I click save and then I click yes and then it brings me to this page so now there's my picture and so now we just go back and next I'm going to add the JavaScript so I'm gonna go back to new I'm gonna click JavaScript and I'm gonna click create now this is the only part that gets a little tricky so in JavaScript I am first going to add a variable for my photo. So let's do variable my image, which equals the document. So 
So I use get element by ID so that I can target the ID that I used in my HTML. And now we're going to add another variable for image array. And this is all the photos that you're going to be using. So the first photo you add is in well, it's also a little complicated because you have to just know the photos. You can't um, essentially go in and it won't pop up for browse like it usually does. So first photo that I used was my beach. So I'm going to put beach1.jpg. And then I'm just going to continue doing it that way. And then after we're done with that, I'm going to close it and close it again. So now all the pictures are on there and I'm just going to go back to my HTML and double check that that's the first image that I was using, which there it is. And the one thing we didn't do was we did not save this. So I'm going to go to file, I'm going to go to save. And I'm going to name it as slideshow again dot JavaScript. So save. So now um, I'm going to go back into my HTML and I'm going to link that JavaScript page. Now, usually you would do this first, but I kind of forgot. But you just have to make sure that you do it before you try and, you know, see if your page is working because otherwise, no matter what, it's not going to be linked. So I'm going to open up my script tag. Give it a source. Of my JavaScript that I have, which should be on my desktop and I'm just going to click on it. And then I am going to close it. And then I'm going to close it again. So now it should be linked. So I'm going to refresh that page. And I'm going to go back to my JavaScript. Now, I'm just going to add another variable of an image index of zero. So, variable image index. And now I'm going to add a function for my change image. So, we're going to go to function change image. I'm going to set it to my ID, so my photo. Sorry about that. Set attribute. of source and then image array which is all my images and then my image index and now I'm going to add another image index Now I'm going to add an if statement. So if image index you guys can kind of just copy what I'm doing.
and then I closed it all out. Now the last thing I need to do, or well, almost last thing, <laughs> I need to set the interval to change the image. So we're going to do another variable and then we're going to do interval handle. And we're going to equal it to set interval. And we're going to go change image. And I'm going to do every two seconds, which is 2,000. And then I'm going to set another um, function so that if you click on the image, so if any of the users click on the image that are viewing your page, the image will stop. So I'm going to set it to my photo and then on click. So then it's going to clear that interval that we made before which is the interval handle and then we are done so now if you go back to slideshow HTML, the HTML page, sorry and we view that page like I said before with the option or alt button FN and then F12 and then we save it click yes and then we view our slideshow. The first picture usually takes a little bit and then it keeps going. And there is your slideshow. Okay, so that is all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye!